And then here, this one here that, that's involved with them too, Rights of Nature. It's a tradition of legal and political scholarship advocating legal standing from the natural environment. The rights approach is a breakaway from traditional environmental regulatory systems which regard nature as property and legalize and manage degradation of the environment rather than prevent it. Now, I can, that's so quick to say, isn't it? If you, get, if you change it all and you're in charge of nature, right? And, and you bring, bring nature itself as natural, free property, and your house is in amongst nature, well, you can just take your house away from you. It's not yours anymore. It's all legalisms. Since 2000, year 2000, animals, plants, and other organisms have their rights to dignity and recognized by the Constitution in Switzerland. Constitution in Switzerland. And they've got it in Ecuador now, too. But the implications of the, the disposition are still not very clear. With the enactment of its 2008 Constitution, Ecuador became the first country in the world to codify the rights of nature and to inform a more classified doc- content to those rights. And it also says it has, uh, recognizes the inalienable rights, for instance, of ecosystems to exist and flourish. It gives people the authority to petition on the behalf of ecosystems and requires the government to remedy violations of these rights. Do you remember years and years ago, they tried different things too. The coming ice age was one of them. And they're harping, oh, too many folk, all going to die in the ice age, you know. And that didn't quite pull off, you see. Nature had other, other. But then they went into, oh, the wetlands are disappearing. And then it was all, oh, the, oh well, you see, the first thing that humans do, like every other creature on the planet, even an amoeba, will change its environment to make it as sustainable as possible for its own sustainability, its own survivability. It will change the immediate environment. No different than then various animals go into fields now and start burying and make holes for themselves. They'll change the environment to suit themselves. Humans do the same, and they go into swamp lands and things like that, and, and they'll drain it, you see. That way they're not getting eaten alive with poisonous mosquitoes that carry diseases, and you're healthier, and that's a good thing. But they've already said at the very top, you see, well, that also makes folk breed better and get healthier, and the death rate uh, decreases, and, yet, and they want to increase it all. That's what it's all for. Oh, my goodness, the wetlands are disappearing, all that nonsense, you see. Same bunch, same goals, same agenda. And they've used all dirty tricks all down through my lifetime and long before I was born. And it goes on. But unfortunately, they give they give themselves the power, you see. You don't elect them. And uh, your government, being the good hands out, you know, pocket earth that they are, uh, sign everything into law when, when it's handed to them from these private NGO Soviet type systems ruled by councils, unelected councils. They call themselves representatives of the people, but you've never even heard of them. And they're owned and bought and set up by the big private philanthropic organizations and funded by them. Mm-hmm. Well, on Thursday, Hamish passed away. So for myself, it's good night. May your God or your gods go with you.